Hi guys, Graham here again. Uh, welcome back to the GS Vlog. So if it's your first time on the channel, welcome to the channel. Obviously I'm Graham. And uh, at the moment I am doing a, a series of six videos where I'll talk about the drones that I actually own. Um, I've done a review on my first drone I bought, which was the Skytech TK107. So go and check that one out. Obviously this is my second uh, video about my second drone that I actually bought, which is the a 9 uh, series book drone. Uh, this I actually got off of um, eBay. It cost me around £48, I think it was, so just under £50. Uh, when I got it, there was three different options for this drone, and there was a few different colours you could have it in. So I went for the, um, the black colour. You could get it in white, grey, or greeny colour. And there was uh, three different options you could get, or maybe four, I think, from going to the box. Uh, you could get the um, option of one battery, two batteries, or three batteries. I went for the three batteries version, so I got three batteries with it basically. And uh, it came from, dare I say, China. But please say, I've not had many trouble problems with it at all. I may have had one or two, but nothing too major. So that's the, obviously I've still got the original box for it. It tells you everything it can do. It's uh, got GPS, which I've not actually got to work. I think when you set it up, you have to calibrate it. Um, it's got an HD camera on it, which, and the quality on it is pretty good. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, then each battery flight time is of 20 minutes, which is a thing I like about it. There isn't much I don't like about it. There are a couple of things, but nothing too major. We'll talk about them later. And it takes about 40 minutes to charge up. Um, it's supposed to have the return to home facility on it, but I've not actually got that to work as of yet. And uh, it also does Wi-Fi, which is basically you connect your phone up to it via an app, which I've done every time. And yeah, I'm pleased to say the quality on it is pretty good. That's one good thing I like about it, but the dislike on the quality of the video of the video side of it, my Wi-Fi is sometimes it freezes on you and there isn't any sound, but you can put your own music over over the video, which I've not looked into, so I'm not worried about that. And also you can do the, the flips with it in the four directions. And this one has three speeds, slow, and like then a medium speed and then a fast speed, which I do like flying it in fast speed. Anyway, now we'll <coughs> look at the drone itself. Obviously, this is the drone itself. It's uh, basically, you can actually put the arms out, make it bigger, so we'll quickly do that. So there you go, it's easy as that. And then the camera, again, is at the front. Obviously it moves itself up and down, depending on what you're doing with it. And then the battery goes in the tray in the bottom. So I've actually got one of the, that's the actual battery that comes with it. It's actually inside the case. Basically I've been a bit of a sad git and I've actually uh, numbered each of my batteries, one, two or three. So basically when the battery goes in, you've got the connectors in the bottom, in the corner there, just above my finger. I'm not sure if that's coming out on the camera or not. It might not, if it doesn't, it doesn't put up a lot of problem. So basically you just plug the batteries in that way and then it clicks in, which is nice and easy. And then to release it on the side of the battery, each side of the battery there is that. Basically you just, this is a little bit tricky, so it's probably one of the, <clears throat> I'll leave it in for the moment. So obviously it does come with uh, the protectors for the each of the uh, blades and uh, you simply just click into position. So one, two, three, and then and I'm not even going to... So there you go, that's where the protectors are. Now this one, 
I didn't do this on the uh, Sky Tech, but as you can see, it's got blue lights and then red lights. When you're flying, they are they will flash. Obviously, good for night time, but I don't fly at night time. I do it during the daytime. Obviously, depending on the conditions, I've got an app on the phone which tells me whether it's good to fly or not. So that is actually how it's all set up. Now this one, you can actually take it, obviously you can actually land it. And to land it is pretty good, I like landing. This one is better to land than the Skytech TK107. That's just, you bring it down to the ground and then you, it just, well, <laughs> it's a bit of a crazy one to land, but it's not too bad. This one, I like landing, landing it, it's quite easy to land. But when it lands, it comes down, it'll do a bounce and then it'll stay down and then it'll shut down. Or if you are powering it up and you don't do anything with it, it'll just shut yourself down. So I mean, now we move on to the transmitter. I'll give it a bit more dust, looks a bit dusty. So this is the actual transmitter. Obviously it's got quite a few different functions on the front. You've got the, uh, that's the button for the, for the looping, for flips. Uh, that's just, just a, not quite sure what that button does. It might be the altitude one. And it's got the return to hand button there. It's got a camera button on it, which I've never really used as I do it all through the, through the phone, which my phone is an iPhone 8. Um, it's got this feature on it, which I'm not 100% sure. This one here, you can either have the lights on, con the blue and red lights on constant, or you can turn them off as you want them. And it's got a 360 button just there. And it's also got the speed button, I think it's just there. So you start off in slow, slow, slow speed, then it press it again, it goes into medium. And you can notice it also when it take, when it goes at the angle, it goes along that. And then when you slow it down, it, the angle changes again for slowing down. And obviously the 360 button just there. Again, you touch a certain height and then you basically just press the button and then you flip it in the direction you want. So obviously you've got your, obviously up, throttle up, and then slow it down. If you want to bring it to land, then you do that, hold that, and it will come down. Obviously you're turning left or right on its own axis, and then you've got your forwards, backwards, left, right, and left. And then basically on it, you've got your two, it's got two antennas, and then you Put them out like that, and obviously my, I haven't got my phone on me, but my phone actually goes in there. You can adjust these, and then you put your phone in on there, and they hold the phone in for you. So that's pretty good. I think the range on it is pretty good as well. I only basically when I'm flying, I only fly it. I don't actually go up that high, and I don't let it go that far away from me. So basically, I don't know how I still have not actually met the full height or the full distance it can go. So that is a review on my second drone, the A809 uh, Black Series drone, as I call it. And uh, that is it for this um, video. I shall come back to you with another video on uh, one of my other drones. I'm not quite sure which one yet, but we'll not, I'll let you know. Okay, so cheers for now. If you like the like the video, then like it. If you want to put a comment on it, then put a comment on it. And uh, maybe also you subscribe to the channel, help me out a little bit. And also, if you don't like the video, then give it a thumbs down. Okay, catch you later.